and welcome to traditional painting the digital way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is part two of my moon in a jar series and in this video we're going to continue to further explore Krita and see what all effects that I can get with it and if you want to follow along with uh, traditional materials, check out part one in this series where I have a list of the brushes and the colors that I use. So here I'm uh, trying to get the background again and, and uh, the jar, trying to make it look darker. And so I'm using, I went back to the airbrush again. My favorite brushes that I started using for Krita were the airbrush and some of the oil paint type brushes and the blending brushes and a little bit of some of the pencil like brushes for the sketching and so I'm just trying to make it darker trying to make the jar have a darker look inside it so I can make a night sky in there and it also stand out from its background and then here I wanted to go ahead and add some stars and they actually have a brush it's a splatter brush that adds um, sort of a look like the stars and if you're following traditionally you could take an old toothbrush and just dip it in a thin down mixture of cadmium yellow light with a lot of white in it and just flick it on the the uh, canvas and make sure that you don't get any on the outside for, uh, just keep it in the jar and that will give you your stars and so that's what I was uh, doing using this uh, brush that's in Krita so I was happy that they had the splatter brush I always look for splatter brush and so here I'm going to try to do the moon and again this took me a long time because I was trying to find the circle tool to do the moon and then kind of erase part of it uh, down and so what I do and I always use infinite painter and I just make um, the circle or part of it or use the guide and Auto, Autodesk also has a guide of a circle that you can use and you just kind of draw that in there uh, draw like a half circle and then go ahead and fill it in and then kind of erase out you can move the guide a little bit more and just give it a crescent shape but I wasn't finding the right tool here so I was trying to use the circle tool here and it just draws circles you, you pull out a, a shape and, and it'll draw a circle here so I was trying to figure out how to do that with Krita and as you can see I, I took the circle tool and and sort of erased on the edges there and then I was trying to find a brush that that would give me the look I wanted and and of course that wasn't working too good it was giving me the it was not making a straight edge which I wanted on the moon so I was trying to erase out again and then use the circle to give it a, a smooth crescent look and if you hit the keys you can make it stop doing the ellipse there's a, a key combination that you can use uh, hot keys but since I just kind of do this on the tablet I don't really use a keyboard for this a lot of people use it in conjunction with the keyboard shortcuts but I'm using Surface Pro 5 and I don't have the keyboard I have a little bitty keyboard a miniature one that I I really like and it's about the size of a little remote control and so you can use it for that but I was just trying to do this more like a, a tablet because I'm not really one to use shortcut keys I know that a lot of people do and that's part of being a digital artist is to do it that way but I like to paint more naturalistic so I don't do it that way very often I do use a few keyboard shortcuts 
And so here I'm just trying to kind of get the <clears throat> the moon shape correct again and trying to get a straight edge on here. And of course that's not working. I'm trying to use the the circle tool and trying to make it with a, a straight edge here and that wasn't working. So then I'm trying to use the straight edge to um, the the circle edge with an eraser to try to give it a a smoother edge, a straight edge, and trying to erase all that. And this is a big experiment for me. I I was just experimenting because I'm I've never used Krita for a big project before because of that lag that it had. And I mentioned the lag in part one that. It lagged a lot on my Surface Pro 3 so much that I really couldn't do a very big project with it. So I didn't use it very much. So here you're seeing me learn this program <laughs> and try to figure out how to get the moon and and stuff that I would use a guide, a circle guide with. And <clears throat> it's here somewhere in the side tools there. Uh, there is, there are guides. Krita does have guides. You just have to hunt through everything and find them. And they do have some help. And you can go to their um, help and user manual, which I ended up having to do. But <clears throat> right now I was just kind of fooling around with that, seeing if I could get the effect that I wanted. Uh, using the circle tool. Now if you're following on traditionally you can just use a bottle cap and paint the edge and then move it over a little bit and paint against the the edge of the bottle cap and make a, a crescent that way and it's what I was wanting to do with this to, to find the guide and so I'm playing around with the this other tool here that uh, that you can um, make points and and kind of bend them. I, there's a name for it. I can't remember what it is. You have to you you can hover your cursor over the tools and it, it usually will tell you. But here I finally found the the guide, and so this is the guide, the ellipse guide, the circle guide. You can stretch it out. You can. Um, uh, make it uh, try to fit I was trying to make it fit the edge there and so you can you can use that for your edges and that's kind of what I was wanting to do so you just kind of have to play around go through all these tools and and see what they do so that's what I was trying to get done here and and just see if I could get kind of an edge with this guide and uh, try to get the the look of the crescent moon correct here and then of course I think I hit the wrong select tool and so it was that was <laughs> all over the place and this is the way I paint with a new program um, you just gotta learn it so I thought I would show you that it's just not always easy to do um, a digital painting it doesn't always go perfect especially if you're you're trying to do a new one you just have to play with all the tools till you can figure out how to make it and so I was like well that isn't working so <laughs> I decided to just erase the whole moon and try again so I made a whole moon there and instead of trying to make a crescent first off, I made a circle. And then I took the guide again and was going to erase it out with, uh, with the circle again. And put it, so I put it on the eraser and then I, for, I, got, I forgot to. And so you saw the double moon or whatever. And so here I'm trying to get it to... An eraser and there that way you can kind of get a crescent look so that's what I was trying to get here and again I'm working on smoothing the edge and I could have just left that and put a face on it 
it might have been a whole lot easier if I had just done that, <laughs> actually, just left it and put a face on it. So here I was trying to get the edge again and and trying to get the, the crescent look on the moon here, trying to get the edges, and of course that didn't work. So I decided to try it on the on the edges here. Try in the middle, try on the edges, just trying to get that circle to um, be the correct shape. See, if you have a guide, you can make it the correct shape, and you don't have to to guess what circle size it is. And so I finally got it looking a little bit better here and decided that that might accidentally work. So I zoomed in real close there and then was going to try to get the edges um, smooth. Just try to, to get a smooth edge there. And so here's where I stopped and the next part that I'll have, this is the end of Moon in a Jar Part 2, and the next part will be Part 3 where I'm still working on the moon, but I finally get it. I'll show you how I finally figured it out. And also I'll be doing the stars and adding them on. And so if you're interested in seeing more of my further adventures in Krita, um, hit the subscribe button <laughs> so you can check out Part 3. And thanks everybody for watching and thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I will catch you later.